Don't worry seeing this Excel file open here. Today I'll be talking about a bit about statistics and uh, data analysis with regard to research. Uh, as you all know that statistics is a thing that most of us fear, that most of us find it difficult and confusing. Yes, it is. Because uh, remembering the statistical test, their uses, their assumptions, and then there are commands in uh, softwares like Aspiasis and R and Stata, that's really a uh, difficult task, especially for people like us who are doctors who are medical background who don't know much about the mathematics, coding, and this all. But don't worry, now AI has made the things quite easier. How I will be just quickly showing you that how you can make your analysis quickly and efficiently with many AI tools, but the way I'll be talking about that ChatGPT. So this is I'm at the ChatGPT 4. You can also do it with this this ChatGPT 4 over any uh, this post advanced tools of ChatGPT. So I will show you all the responses and what I did for ChatGPT. So first of all, just see this the prompt that I uh, passed it at this ChatGPT. Read it what it meant. I wrote to ChatGPT that see it's my research project title. X, Y, Z. It could be any research title that you are currently working on. You can just put that research title in the uh, quotation marks. That my research title X, Y, Z has following objectives. And I am giving ChatGPT first my research title. Now I am giving the ChatGPT specific objective or uh, research questions of my research project. It could be anything. I have just played an example here that my first objective A is comparison of weight reduction. In kilograms between a drug X and a placebo. My second objective of the research project is that association of different BMI categories that those BMI categories are normal, overweight, and obese. These scenarios are pretty common in real research, so I use this association of these BMI categories with what? With the side effect ABC, which could be any side effect happening or not in that research. Now, what in the end I asked ChatGPT that after giving a bit detail of my research title and objective research question, I asked it that suggest me the statistical analysis plan, plan for these objectives. Clearly, listen. Whenever we are uh, planning a research, we start a research topic. You know, we do all the things. We uh, select a research topic, research question, we collect data. But we are always uh, quite worried about the statistical analysis. That what test to apply, how to apply. Yes, these things have been quite easier now. Just before starting your project, uh, just for you finalize your objectives, question, and this, just put these things into some AI tools, and it will give you a whole idea of what kind of analysis fits your research questions, how to proceed it, how you will do it in a certain uh, software, like you can ask it how to do for certain research uh, statistical tasks and SPSS and all and software, Python, and anything uh, that is available with you. To see what's the response of ChatGPT, that's for research projects. As it has a structured at statistical analysis plan. The ChatGPT gives you a very good statistical whole plan, and you know you can stretch it to any level. You just keep asking, keep playing with uh, uh, question answer with ChatGPT, and it will be giving you answer. So first objective, or first objective A, which is a comparison of a weight reduction seen with a drug X and a placebo statistical plan, is that one. Data description and preparation. What is that? It's to collect the weight reduction data and pages for both the groups. That is the drug action plus both that's the intervention and plus four group. Then ensure your data are not distributed if not considered transformation or non parametric cast. You can ask detail of anything that it says. Now, second is statistical test. First is gives you how to prepare your data, how to do your raw or raw crop data. Uh, second is just like we do in statistics, it says that statistical test. Use a t test for independent samples to compare the mean weight reduction between the two groups. If data are normally distributed, if data are not normally distributed, use the man with u test. See, just within seconds, a click, ChatGPT is telling you what tests are possible with your first objective. That objective was we are comparing actually the mean weight reduction between two groups. So, I will in statistics we apply t test. That's an independent sample t test when we compare the uh, means of two independent groups. So. If you are not, uh, you know, that much good at statistics, or you are a beginner, or even sometimes when we are not in touch with these things, we forget. So just it specifically tells you what to do. Then effect size, it said that you can calculate the common C to be the effect size of drug apps compared to plus 
I will not go into detail of anything. Just to those guys who are working on the statistics, work on these uh, analysis and research, they will uh, know many of these things. Just I'm telling how it would just make your life easy, and it really does. Now it also asks you to assumptions take take the assumptions usually for normality using Shapovalov test, homogeneity appearances using this Nevenis test that we we will use in uh, ANOVAS. And then reporting it, just tell you how you can report everything with this means, p values, and these. So this was for my first objective. For my second objective, objective B, that was association of different BMI categories with a side effect ABC. First step again is data description and categorization. Categorize the participant data into three BMI categories. Record the occurrence of side effects as a binary outcome. Yes, so statistical test says that you will use a chi-square test to examine this association. If uh, expected frequencies are low, you can use the Fisher exact test, just like you do with the chi-square. If you don't know about any of these things, you can ask the activity explicitly about each of these things with the example and will explain everything. It's just like a 24-7 tutor available to you. Then if it mirrors, you can calculate the odds ratio for each category to mirror the association between. Now, assumption check, you can go for assumption check reporting. And it gives you another thing, additional consideration for power analysis. Now, you can ask there for power analysis, you can go for a sample size calculation, for multiple comparisons, data visualization. It gives you that you can visualize your data with bar charts, uh, radio detection, scap, bar, bar, pie chart for PMI category. So, this is how that. And see, in the next, I asked ChatGPT, the second thing that you must be uh, asking yourself how to do this. Even ChatGPT can do a lot of these things for you here. But I'm not advising to uh, currently, you know, analyze your data uh, explicitly from ChatGPT or ASO and then use that in your research. Use your traditional software, the software that are designed for these sets, you know, like Python or Spaces, data on, uh, or source, everything. Once, you know, I'm telling you, just within minutes, give it one hour and quickly just, you know, do a workup of your analysis. That what analysis are possible? How can you do that? What things to do? It will just, you know, just for other research purposes, you can do this thing as well. You just make the things quite easier for you, quite faster for you. I asked it how to run a t test in SPSS version 23. For example, SPSS is commonly used in this part of the world, but in Asia. So it gives you a step by step command and you can ask the step for any test. For anything in any of the software. So, see that it gives you a whole step by step guide. How that step by step guide you run t test in SPSS. As first step, prepare your data, ensure the data is formatted correctly in SPSS. Uh, it tells you how you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, arrange these columns and rows and uh, these things. I'm not reading everything. Just telling you step two access the t test function. It tells you how you can access the t test option in SPSS. Open SPSS, load data sets, click on this option called Analyze and go navigate to compare mean, select the independent sample and and then set up the test. How it set up the test, just telling you how you can actually set up the test. It'll give you that move your variables here and there, just like we do in uh, groups. And in the end, it says you that you run the test. And once you run the test, interpretation. Of results and it also give you the interpretation how you can interpret about p values, Lebanese tasks, if you define. Now, see, I asked another command that is, please, how to do a chi square test or give steps. Now, it is giving me below the steps of running a chi square test in or and see, it is showing me also the code of the in. Or software. This is the code you can copy from here, just like for this research. You can copy this code as it is into R. And this was just for example. Obviously, when you will be doing uh, this thing, you will obviously talk about your research variables. So you can copy and paste that this code as it is and paste into the R and you know run these things. And it gives you how you can run this high score test into R. And it gives you interpretation of the results as well and gives you a lot more how you can do the Fisher exact test and all it gives you a code for that as well you can copy and do that in all 
See, not only it suggests you the test, but also can help you with how to run a certain test in a, any of the softwares. And I ask it one more thing. If you have asked for a test, done that test, now you are confused about the interpretation. What is the interpretation of t-test? And in t-test, see, it is telling you the interpretation of t-test. p-value, it is giving you the interpretation of p-value. And I'm looking this degree of freedom, confidence, more fact sizes, and blah, blah. Now, the second thing, this was just for theoretically you are asking about your research project and how you can analyze it, what possibilities. In, now, in a second example, what I did, I uploaded an Excel spreadsheet. This is the Excel spreadsheet that I just uploaded from this option over here. It's fine option. I uploaded a Excel sheet and I wrote this problem in chat GPT. Okay, that this is the data set of mortality of heart failure in the US population from this year to this year from certain database. And I ask it that please clean this data set before it is ready for analysis. You know, it makes sure that uh, you give this command of uh, cleaning, or you can uh, just clean your data yourself uh, by any means before putting here. You know, even if you don't do chat GPT, we analyze and give you ideas, but it's good if you give this idea and see the chat GPT has uh, started working on this. It says that let's start by examining consensus for data sets. I will check first a few rows to understand structure and by and cleaning might be needed now and see it is giving you that what is in this data set it is giving you multiple columns that are available as well columns death columns population data data for the 95 percent for present role for any adjusted rate data and it gives you the percentage of total deaths so it is telling that these uh, variables are there then cleaning is tap sheet is telling you that how did it clean the data giving you that is removing the redundant columns and how it handles the missing values, check the data types and verify it, and gives you a summary of training and access steps. It asks you that shall I inspect the row with missing gear and then complete the cleaning? I say yes, and it does clean my data. Now I ask ChatGPT that please summarize the data set, just like you can ask the uh, or software Python or its data, and you can summarize one or more variables. So it will give you the summary of the data set. That whatever the spreadsheet you have uploaded, it will summarize it for you. And see, it is summarizing that has a summary of this uh, data set, basic state, uh, statistics with years covered, and it gives you a number of data points that would do increase deaths. It is telling about you the deaths that are happening from that it doesn't mean. Approximately, that's this number of deaths for your range, standard deviation, and population, which is telling about the mean population range, road mortality rate. It gives you data about that. this percentage of deaths, mean about 4.55 percent of deaths are due to heart failure range, this standard deviation, confidence interval, and everything. Now, see, I was curious and I asked it write the major descriptive summaries from this data, just like. Okay, so we ask for this this first, and it is telling me that overall trends that it uh, analyzed that are increasing mortality in this uh, data set. One of the inside here. Second is population growth. Now it is telling me about the mortality rates that there are some fluctuating mortality rates there. Statistical variability. So then I ask one thing more that. What inferential statistics can be applied on this? Say, I have a data, I have a data set, I'm not sure what kind of uh, test can be applied on this. Set. I just ask if this is a data set, this kind of data, and this what kind of test can I apply? And C is suggesting you the different types of tests that I can apply on this data set that I have to do for time series analysis. It is giving you detail as well. I'm not going much into this. I'm just telling you what you can do with this ChatGPT. Regression analysis you can do from this, this data set. You can go for this correlation analysis, ANOVA, and survival analysis, quire square test of independence. You can apply this to so then factor analysis, and there are more. And I ask one thing more that can you outline the important outcome variables and independent variables and appropriate feasible tasks that can be run? Just read this. Uh, from that I can get judgment and see now it is outlining the main outcome possible outcome variables from this data set and 
outline the outcome variables for me, then it uh, outlines the independent variables like year, population size, and now it is suggesting the test. For that is the test, it's suggesting for trend analysis what would be your outcome variable, what would be your independent variable, what test or method you can apply. Then for association analysis, for association analysis, what would be your outcome variable, what would be your independent variable. What could be your task method for variance analysis? So it is telling you the outcomes, independent variables, dependent variables, type of test, how those types can be applied. Then I ask one more thing that how to run a survival analysis for this data set on this data. Now ask about the steps that I can do as data to do a survival analysis and it gives me more results and this codes that I can run on data. One thing more that I will show you. Now I ask you that please create the histogram for major numerical variables from this data set and see this ChatGPT has created some beautiful histograms for me. And then ask one thing more that please create some bar graphs for appropriate variables in this data set if feasible or you can explicitly ask it to do the uh, certain type of bar graphs or one or other kind of variables and see it is generating the bar graphs. And ask for another kind of uh, plot that is a Create a QQ plot for normality across the numerical variables. I wish to see the normality. So now ask for the histograms, the QQ plots. So ask it for the QQ plots and it is generating the QQ plots for different variables for me. And I ask many other things with it. So I hope that this video would help you in your future research project and statistical analysis. Thank you.